If you don't have to excuse how flustered I look, it's literally about 30 degrees outside, which is very weird because I live in England. So it usually rains every day. So I'm not really used to this heat and my hair's a bit all over the place, but it's fine because I'm excited because I got parcel and it's the Black Widow Collector Cults. So I've never ever had a Collector Cults before, so I'm really excited to have it. It's like, wow. I got it from eBay actually, because originally they're of Amazon, but I can't get it shipped from America to here. So I bought it on eBay and the seller was really nice. I already know what's in it because I've opened it and I had to check the t-shirt was the right size and it is so. And I already kind of knew what was in it because I'd seen like pictures on Twitter and stuff and obviously they released what's in it anyway. So obviously Black Widow got postponed to the 6th of November, which is really sad because I was so excited for it. <laughs> um, but it's fine. Um, so I think every Marvel movie has like moved on a shift. So Black Widow is coming out when the Eternals are supposed to come out and now the Eternals is coming out when Shang-Chi was supposed to come out and they're just like all moving a slot forward because of COVID-19 and kind of sad about it but at the same time I know they're doing it for like safety so that's fine but I'm really excited and yeah let's open it so let me try to show you open it and this is what you see but the first thing that I opened was the t-shirt and it's kind of like a dark grey it doesn't look that dark on camera but it's like a dark grey and it has the Black Widow Funko on it. So it looks like this. And it looks like it has Yelena and um, Red Guardian on it too. This is the first pop tea I've ever owned. So I'm really excited about it. And I think it's just so cute. I got it in a size large because I like them like oversized. I don't like like t-shirts where you're like squishing into them obviously all of these are exclusive to collect cops but um you can probably find like the separate items on sale on like ebay or something um i know that when i tried to buy it there was like people selling the funkos um separately and like the t-shirt separately so if you want it you can probably find it oh and i forgot to mention it comes with this little card and it tells you what's in it so you have two funkos excuse my nail polish it's atrocious um, a pin, a decal, which I think is just a sticker, I'm not too sure, um, and then the t-shirt. And it says our July theme is X-Men. I'm guessing this is a sticker. Yeah. It's of Red Guardian, um, and it says something in Russian. I'm pretty sure that's just Red Guardian in Russian. I could probably put that on my laptop or something. I don't know. I'll just keep it because it's cool. And then the next thing is this mini Taskmaster, like, pin badge. Let me take it out. Um, I'll probably put this on like my lanyard for school next year or something. I'll do a close up because it's not going to focus. Um, but yeah. Taskmaster, obviously he's a villain in this film. Okay, and the two things I was the most excited for ever are the Funkos. My collection has expanded a little bit. Um, so I have all of these and then I've moved the rest onto this kind of shelf here. And there's a few over there. Um, it was my birthday like last week, so I got a few new figures, so I'll show you those at the end. So this has had to like move my collection outwards because I kind of wanted to start displaying them out of box because I feel like they just look cooler. Obviously like it loses their value a bit, but I'm not planning on selling them anytime soon, so it's fine. I think they just look cooler out of box. That's just my opinion. So you get two Funkos in this box. The first one is Black Widow and she's holding like some sort of like... What do you call that? It's like a, oh, I don't know. One of those things where you like shoot it or something and then you can like swing on it. And she's got like a nosebleed or something. I don't know. This is Black Widow. Obviously the exclusive Collect Cop sticker. These are the first Collect Cops Funkos I own. So I'm really excited to have them. I haven't taken them out of the box yet because I don't know if I want to. Maybe I'll look at them and then I'm gonna order some pop protectors to put them in because they're precious. They don't have a value yet on the Funko app, which I thought was kind of weird, but I feel like they'll value them like as soon as they know how many people have them and like how common they are. Um, and then the last thing in the box is Alexi, um, AKA Red Guardian. And he's kind of like, he's holding a doll of red guardian i don't know if you can see it like properly 
This one is super cool. I'm so excited that David Harbour is in the MCU now, can I just say? Yeah, he looks pretty bad up. He's got like bruises on his face and stuff. That is everything that is exclusive to the Collector Corps. So I didn't get this one for my birthday, but it arrived as a pre-order. Uh, oh my God, the reflection is outrageous. Um, but it's the PX exclusive Iron Man. It glows in the dark and it's just the coolest thing. I have it in a pot protector at the minute. Um, but I have taken it out of the box and looked at it and it is the coolest thing. The next two I got are actually both movie moments and my sister actually got me them both. And it is the Steven Demodog from Stranger Things and Thor vs Thanos from Infinity War. Um, but I love them and yeah, she spoils me. And then I also got the child from The Mandalorian. It's kind of just chilling on my bottom shelf right now because I don't really have anywhere to put it because I don't really want to mix it in with my Marvel figures and like it's a weird shaped box like it's sideways because his ears are so big so it's kind of just chilling here right now and I also got the Avengers Endgame Hawkeye special edition in his Quantum Realm suit this is also just chilling here because I want to put it with the rest of my Endgame set but I just don't have space for it right now so I'm waiting for my Ronin Walmart exclusive so I can like move to put to it. My friends actually really kindly bought me the King Groot from the Game of Us, so he's just chilling here next to the other ones. Oh yeah, this is my shelf. I can't remember if I've shown this in a video before. I don't think I have, um, but these are all just here. So I have like my non-Marvel ones and then some Civil War ones here. Um, so there's like Stranger Things, um, Baby Driver, Birds of Prey, and a few Civil War ones, and the um, Black Widow. 80th anniversary special edition then there's the like third endgame wave and infinity war into the spider-verse and all of that and then on the top we have the captain marvel set along the top some black panther on the bottom and then guardians of the galaxy and the game of us spider-man i'm sorry it's really dusty on here um, and then for my birthday i also got the captain america civil war four pack so you get two pocket pops of captain america and iron man and then you get the normal four inch figures of hawkeye and spider-man with captain america shield and then this also arrived um is the pop in a box exclusive J. jonah jameson from spider-man far from home haven't shown that off yet and i don't think i've shown these two it's like the exclusive rocket and the war machine from avengers endgame and then i've grown my ragnarok set so i've got a thor and a loki i already had these three and then for my birthday i got the fall convention exclusive colgan meek which is now actually worth quite a bit i think it's worth about 26 pound on the fun collab so that is everything that came in the collector corps and also a bit of an updated um view of my collection i guess um i hope you enjoyed if you did like it and stuff um and also follow my twitter because it's a marvel account so you should definitely follow that um so yeah i hope you enjoyed and that's probably me done for a couple of months now um